The son of a lighthouse keeper and the Atlantean queen, Arthur Curry was a child of both the land and ocean. His quiet life was shattered when the obsession of a treasure hunter named Black Manta led to the death of Arthur's father. Leaving the surface behind, Arthur has taken his place as King of Atlantis, protecting both worlds yet feeling at home in neither. The Lord of Atlantis is a melee bruiser who excels at solo skirmishes and poking during teamfights. His passive is Rising Tide. After using a skill, Aquaman gains Rising Tide for a short time. His next basic attack will consume Rising Tide, dealing power damage and healing Aquaman. Rising Tide scales with power damage and its heal scales with attack damage. Trident of the King throws Aquaman's trident, revealing his target by marking them with telepathy. It deals power damage based on how far the trident has traveled. Stagger swipes his opponent's feet, dealing power damage and knocking them down. Aquaman rushes through his opponents with Undertow, dealing attack damage to all targets hit. If at least one target is hit, Aquaman may use Undertow a second time within a short window. Aquaman's ultimate, Mites of Atlantis, is locked until he deals damage with a skill. Based on the skill he uses, Might of Atlantis unlocks as a follow-up skill. Landing Trident of the King unlocks Surge, allowing a long-distance dash to any target marked by telepathy, and deals power damage on arrival. Stagger unlocks Wrath, which deals flat power damage plus additional damage equal to a percentage of the target's missing health. Lastly, Undertow unlocks Capsize, allowing an additional Undertow dash that stops at the first champion, deals attack damage, and flips the enemy champion behind Aquaman. Try to maximize Rising Tide by landing a basic attack between each skill, providing added damage and healing. Trident of the King is a great harass but has a high will cost, so use it with care in the early game. One level in Stagger is very helpful when playing a solo lane against melee champions. Undertow has good area damage, making it good for clearing drone waves and a crucial investment on Coast City and Gotham Divided. Learning which Might of Atlantis follow-up to use, and when, is all part of mastering Aquaman. Surge is a powerful initiator, especially against enemy marksmen and supports. Wrath is a powerful finishing move, so prioritize low health enemies. Capsize can help you escape or throw an enemy out of position, setting up a tidy kill. While Rising Tide's bonus damage scales with power damage, its healing scales with attack damage. Keep this in mind when building Aquaman. Artifacts with power damage like Starheart and Cosmic Staff afford Aquaman high burst damage and a more lethal poke with Trident of the King. His low cooldowns make it easy to burn through will, so consider artifacts with extra will or will regeneration. For extra health and a little crowd control, pick up Atlantean Royal Seal. Built with attack damage, Rising Tide gives you sustained damage and health recovery. Attack damage also increases Undertow's ability to clear drone waves. Try Huntress's Crossbow for cooldown reduction, and Atomic Axe and Coda Blade for more attack damage and penetration. For some extra durability, pick up Metallo's Heart or Fragment of Mogo. Aquaman's Super Strength gives you a short move speed boost after throwing an object. This stolen power shines in scenarios when you're looking to surprise from the jungle or escape when outmatched. Rule the land and the seven seas as Aquaman, Lord of Atlantis.